got back from running some errands. It's chilly out there, and I want to talk hormones, because that'll warm you up. Who the hell am I? Holly Warner, certified menopause and hormone specialist. Ta-da! Let's talk estrogen. I like to keep my videos a little fun and a little goofy, and I don't care if I'm wearing a toque and I look a little funny. I'm warm, because it's cold outside, so deal with it or scroll on. It doesn't make my IQ any less. I want to talk to you about the risk of blood clots with estrogen. So here's the deal. Last week I had three separate patients come to me and say, my doctor's really concerned that I'm taking estrogen. And I went, well, you're not taking estrogen. You're taking estradiol. And there's a difference. You see, their concern was that they are menopausal women taking estrogen and the risk of blood clots. However, oral, micronized, estradiol is not the same thing. Studies that were done were done on CEE, as we like to call them, conjugated equine estrogens, shitty synthetic stuff, not on oral micronized estradiol, bioidentical. Why is it so important to know the difference? Well, because one actually does cause a whole bunch of risks from cancers, to blood clots, to a whole bunch of other shit. Estradiol isn't gonna do those things. And I will take that one to the bank because show me the study. I'll wait. No, I'm serious, show me the study. You can't, because there isn't one. Not a single study out there shows that the estradiol, oral micronized format, causes blood clots. Not one study. There isn't one. It is all on conjugated equine estrogens. You're welcome. So why not go for transdermal? Because isn't that safer? Okay, I wouldn't say it's safer. You're not getting the neuroprotective benefits. You're not getting the cardiovascular benefits. This transdermal bullshit. Listen, there are definitely times where it's indicated. So I'm not saying throw the baby out with the bathwater. Yeah, I suppose if you're really worried and you're really scared, we could put you on a patch, but you're not getting the protection that our hormones would naturally be giving us. And isn't that the main reason that we wanna be on hormone therapy? I think we're past the idea that hormone therapy is just for better sleep, losing some weight, and hot flashes. Women are understanding that our hormones protect our heart, our brain, our bones. They're great for our skin and our hair. They're great for our nails. They're great for your brain. Remembering shit is kind of important. Preventing cancer is kind of a big one. You're not getting that protection or prevention from a patch.